viewers welcome to our new video today our topic is blood vessels mcqs so let's start the video what is the largest artery in the human body a rota pulmonary artery brachial artery femoral artery so the correct answer is option a a rota a rota is the largest artery in the human body the smallest blood vessels in the human body are called arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option c capillaries capillaries is the smallest blood vessels in the human body which type of blood vessels have the thickest walls and are responsible for maintaining blood pressure arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option a arteries which blood vessels carry blood from the lungs to the heart arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option b veins which of the following blood vessel has the thickest walls arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option a arteries which type of blood vessel carry deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs artery vein capillary venule so the correct answer is option a artery which type of blood vessel carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart artery vein capillary venule so the correct answer is option b vein which of the following blood vessels has the thinnest walls arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option c capillaries which type of blood vessel has the highest pressure arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option a arteries which of the following blood vessel has oxygen rich blood pulmonary artery pulmonary vein aorta inferior vena cava so the correct answer is option b pulmonary vein which of the following blood vessel has oxygen poor blood pulmonary artery pulmonary vein aorta inferior vena cava so the correct answer is option a pulmonary artery blood vessels that carry blood from the brain to the heart are called aorta pulmonary artery carotid arteries renal arteries so the correct answer is option c carotid arteries the structure that regulates blood flow into capillaries is called sphincter wall arteriole venule so the correct answer is option a sphincter the blood vessel that carries deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body to the heart is called aorta pulmonary artery superior vena cava renal artery so the correct answer is option c superior vena cava the blood vessel that carries deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body to the heart is called aorta pulmonary artery inferior vena cava renal artery so the correct answer is option c inferior vena cava the blood vessel that carries oxygenated blood from the placenta to the fetus in pregnant females is called umbilical artery umbilical vein aorta pulmonary artery so the correct answer is option b umbilical vein the blood vessel that carries deoxygenated blood from the fetus to the placenta in pregnant females is called umbilical artery umbilical vein aorta pulmonary artery so the correct answer is option a umbilical artery blood vessels that carry filter blood from the kidneys back to the heart are called hepatic arteries hepatic veins portal veins renal veins so the correct answer is option d renal veins blood vessels that carry blood from to the kidney for filtration and waste removal are called hepatic arteries hepatic veins portal veins renal arteries so the correct answer is option d renal arteries 
blood vessels that supply oxygen and nutrients to the heart muscles are called coronary artery pulmonary artery renal artery hepatic arteries so the correct answer is option a coronary arteries which type of blood vessels are responsible for controlling blood flow and distributing blood to various parts of the body arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option a arteries blood vessel that carry blood from capillaries to veins are called arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option d venules which type of blood vessels have thin walls allowing for exchange of oxygen and nutrients between blood and tissue arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option c capillaries the process by which nutrients and oxygen pass from blood vessels into tissues are is called filtration osmosis diffusion active transport so the correct answer is option c diffusion the main function of arteries is to carry blood away from the heart carry blood back to the heart exchange gases with tissues filter blood so the correct answer is option a carry blood away from the heart the main function of vein is to carry blood away from the heart carry blood back to the heart exchange gases with tissues filter blood so the correct answer is option b carry blood back to the heart the main function of vein is to carry blood back to the heart blood vessels that connect arterioles to venules are called arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option c capillaries which blood vessels are responsible for carrying blood from the digestive organ to the liver for processing arteries veins capillaries hepatic portal veins so the correct answer is option d hepatic portal veins what is the function of veins in the circulatory system so the correct answer is option d the function of veins in the circulatory system is carry deoxygenated blood from various parts of the body back to the heart blood vessels that drain deoxygenated blood from the heart muscle are called coronary arteries pulmonary arteries renal arteries coronary arteries so the correct answer is option d coronary veins which of the following blood vessels have walls to prevent back flow of blood arteries veins capillaries venules so the correct answer is option b veins what is the function of venules in the circulatory system so the correct answer is option d the main function the function of venules in the circulatory system is connect capillaries and veins which of the following is not a function of blood vessels transport of nutrients regulation of blood pressure exchange of gases production of red blood cells so the correct answer is option d production of red blood cells blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart are called aorta pulmonary artery pulmonary vein renal artery so the correct answer is option c pulmonary vein blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood from the rest of the body to the heart are called aorta pulmonary artery pulmonary vein inferior vena cava so the correct answer is option d inferior vena cava the main function of capillaries is to carry blood away from the heart carry blood back to the heart exchange gases with tissues filter blood so the correct answer is option c exchange gases with tissue blood vessels that carry blood from the lungs to the heart are called aorta pulmonary artery pulmonary vein renal artery so the correct answer is option c pulmonary vein the blood vessel that carries oxygenated blood from the left ventricle of the heart to the rest of the body is called a aorta pulmonary artery pulmonary vein renal artery so the correct answer is option a aorta
The blood vessel that carries deoxygenated blood from the right atrium of the heart to the right ventricle is called aorta, pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, superior vena cava. So the correct answer is option D, superior vena cava. The blood vessel that carries deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle of the heart to the lungs of oxygenation to the lungs for the for oxygenation is called aorta pulmonary artery pulmonary vein inferior vena cava so the correct answer is option b pulmonary artery the the blood vessel that carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart in the fetal circulation is called umbilical artery umbilical vein ductus arteriorus ductus venous so the correct answer is option C, ductus arteriorus. The blood vessel that carries deoxygenated blood from the pulmonary artery to the aorta in the fetal circulation is called umbilical artery, umbilical vein, ductus arteriorus, ductus venosus. So the correct answer is option D, ductus venosus. The blood vessels that connects the umbilical vein to the inferior vena cava in the fetal circulation is called umbilical artery, umbilical vein, ductus arteriorus, ductus venosus. So the correct answer is option D, ductus venosus. The blood vessel that carry blood to and form all other parts of the body, excluding the lungs, are collectively known as pulmonary circulation, systematic circulation. Coronary circulation, hepatic circulation. So the correct answer is option B. Systematic circulation. Blood vessel, dead carry lymph, a clear fluid containing white blood seal and waste products are called arteries, veins, capillaries, lymphatics. So the correct answer is option D. Lymphatics. The type of veins that are found just beneath the skin and are often visible as blue or greenish lines are called deep veins, superficial veins, pulmonary veins, lymphatic veins. So the correct answer is option B, superficial veins. The type of veins that are located deep within the body and accompany arteries are called deep veins, superficial veins, pulmonary veins, lymphatic veins. So the correct answer is option A, deep veins. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe MCQs1 for latest MCQs.